crypto in 2024, I believe, is going to be an incredibly powerful year. Yeah, and, I think you're right. And it's because of an alignment. As we close 2023, the sentiment and morale around Bitcoin heading into 2024 seems to be high with many pundits and investors anticipating major moves for the flagship cryptocurrency. The Bitcoin halving and the spot ETF are the two major events headlining the excitement surrounding Bitcoin. But investor Mark Yusko believes 2024 offers much more than that. In an interview with The Dales Report, Yusko eloquently explained why he believes 2024 is a celestial alignment of all the cycles coming together, a divine moment for the crypto space. Yusko stated that the alignment is beyond Bitcoin, but has a history of occurring every 14 years in technology because of the youthful minds of the times and their foresight of what the current climate needs to further the technological advances. This cycle dates back to the 50s, according to Yusko, and he believes that 2024 is just the beginning of this new era of technological advancement. And as Bitcoin currently trades for $42,525.73, we are still very early in this process. Let's listen to what Yusko has to say. 2024, which is now just a couple weeks away, is the beginning. It's the beginning of this new era in this evolution of computing that I've been talking about for years, all the way back to the advent of the mainframe in 54, 14 years later, the microchip comes along in 68, 14 years later, the personal computer in 1982, 14 years later, the internet in 96, another 14 years. Why is it always 14 years? Well, because it's always the young people. So it's yeah. a half generation. It's the creative class that, that creates new stuff. Mark Andreessen, 19, Larry and Sergey in their 20s. So 2010, the mobile net, and now 2024 with what I call it the truth net because we yeah. what blockchain does it replaces trust with truth. Now we can call it whatever we want, but it's the beginning of the cycle. And everyone says, well, what about all the last 10 years? Right? That was like 86 to 96 where the internet was just getting formed. Yeah. You had the DARPA net and you had some companies and they were kind of, but it wasn't until Tim Berners-Lee wrote the first web page in 91. Mm -hmm. Think about that. 91. Until then, we got some applications like the browser from Andreessen that made the internet accessible. And then it was Yahoo and Google and eBay and all these companies. And this internet thing became real. And that's kind of what we have coming into 2024. We have this celestial alignment of all the things, all the cycles. So we have we have the, the four-year cycle in Bitcoin, right? The halving yeah. happens in April, early May, uh, depending on the blocks. But, but that's going to happen. We've got this uh, wave of liquidity that's about to be unleashed with the approval <clears throat> of the ETF. We've got this cyclical wave of it looks like the economy is slowing. Therefore, the Fed's going to go back to accommodation, uh, which will devalue the current the dollar more, which means... If we price Bitcoin in dollars, the price of Bitcoin goes up. I mean, that's just the way it works. We've yeah. got a technological wave where 650,000 people were laid off from big tech. That's a lot. And that's it turns out some of them don't have enough money to never work again. Some do, but many don't. And it turns out some of them are like really smart. And so yeah. they are starting new companies and and in these cycles post downturn so everyone says well, we didn't have a recession fine you can believe that i don't really care 2022 was as much a recession as 2001 right we had two negative quarters we had one percent growth for the year that's a recession now you don't want to yeah. call it a recession because you juice the employment numbers i don't really care but post 2001 2002 2003 were some of the best vintages for business formation, venture capital, innovation. And it's because during those downturns, people get displaced. Right. And turns out, most powerful force in the universe, you know, not Bitcoin. I mean, that's close. But no, I'm just kidding. Is, is human creativity. Human creativity is yeah. unbelievable. And actually, the reason I am the most excited 
about Bitcoin. I'm excited about other things in digital assets, but, but Bitcoin in particular, and I'm stealing this directly from Jimmy Song, but Jimmy talks about if you get paid in fiat, you're a slave. And it's a really politically charged word. You're not supposed to use it, but you are, right? You're a slave. Why? Because the government can steal the wealth back from you through devaluation. Yeah. If you get, if we migrate to a deflationary currency like Bitcoin and you got paid in Bitcoin, yeah. you're no longer a slave. You, you unshackle yourself. And what that does is it unleashes human creativity because you no longer have to work your slave and job, right? It's the, you know, the, the Bachman Turner Overdrive song, you know, uh, and, you know, quit your slave and job and get your pay or start your right. slave and job and get your pay, right? That, man, that goes all the way back to the 70s. They've been talking about this. And so people knew that it was debt slavery and fiat slavery, but we didn't know how to break out of it because we needed the money to buy the you know, food and pay the bills. Well, now if you can have an asset that actually appreciates as the dollar devalues, yes, you have a store of value and you can take time to think, to create, and not everybody will be good at it, but the ones that are, I think it unleashes amazing potential. And the thing that gets me excited and why I call it the truth net is the trust industry has existed for 838 years. So the Medici's formed these first banks. They stole the idea from the Portuguese monks, the Knights uh, Templar, um, and they created fractional reserve banking. Okay, great. Fractional reserve banking has had a great run for 838 years. And it doesn't mean that it necessarily has to go away, but the idea of two ledgers controlled by someone that we trust to oversee it, right? And that we pay money to. So $7 trillion gets extracted yeah. from the global system for trust, right? To verify that my account has my amount of money in it. That it's when I transfer it to you, the staggering auditors come in and say it happened, or the broker makes sure that my security is where they say it is. All of that trust can be replaced with truth. To watch the full interview, check out the link in the description. What do you think of Mark's thoughts here? Do you agree that 2024 is a celestial divine time for Bitcoin? Leave a comment. If you found value in the content, hit the like button as that greatly helps the channel find similar viewers like you. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest news and commentary in the crypto space. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.